Hey everyone, welcome to another virtual campfire with Camp Dubois. My name is Lone Star. It's great to go ahead and see you all. We are in a little bit of a different place here at Camp Dubois. If y'all go ahead and know where it is, do go ahead and drop a comment down in the comment section or if you're watching this on Facebook, do go ahead and make sure to post that up. Just let us know where you think that we are on the campgrounds. I'm also here with someone else. I'm Sunkiss and with us today is Little One. This is his third time here at Camp Du Bois in his short little life. Um, and we've decided just to call him Little One and let him figure out what his camp name is later on as he grows. We are very excited to be here at Camp Du Bois. So as we go ahead and get ready to start off this virtual campfire, I ask that we join in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious Holy God, even though we are socially distant, we ask that during this virtual campfire that we be brought closer together. Allow for your Holy Spirit to connect us through our internet connections and for it to strengthen our bonds of friendship. We give you thanks for this wonderful camp that we are able to enjoy and share in your creation. And it is in the word, in Jesus Christ, we go ahead and pray. Amen. Amen. Hey guys, Sharkbait here. We're gonna do a song called Shake Another Hand. Shake another hand, shake a hand next to you. Shake another hand and sing this song. Shake another hand, shake a hand next to you. Shake another hand and sing. And sing this song. This song goes on. Hi guys, this is Zara and Sparkle, and we have a repeat after me and do as I do song. There was a great big moose. There was a great big moose. He liked to drink a lot of juice. He liked to drink a lot of juice. There was a great big moose. There was a great big moose. He liked to drink a lot of juice. He liked to drink a lot of juice. Sing it, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sing it, whoa, whoa, whoa. Way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. The moose's name was Fred. The moose's name was Fred. He liked to drink his juice in bed. He liked to drink his juice in bed. Moose's name was Fred. The moose's name was Fred. He liked to drink his juice in bed. He liked to drink his juice in bed. Sing it, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sing it, whoa, whoa, whoa. Way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. Way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. 
way, oh way, oh. He drank his juice with care. He drank his juice with care. But he spilled it everywhere. But he spilled it everywhere. He drank his juice with care. He drank his juice with care. But he spilled it everywhere. But he spilled it everywhere. Sing it, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sing it, whoa, whoa, whoa. Way, oh, way, oh, way, oh, way, oh. Way, oh, way, oh, way, oh, way, oh. Way, oh, way, oh. Way, oh, way, oh. Way, oh, way, oh, way, oh, way, oh. Way, oh, way, oh, way, oh, way, oh. Now he's a sticky moose. Now he's a sticky moose. But he's our moose. But he's our moose. Full of juice. Full of juice. On the loose. On the loose. Sing it, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sing it, whoa, whoa, whoa. Way, oh, way, oh, way, oh, way, oh. Way, oh, way, oh, way, oh, way, oh. Way, oh, way, oh.
back again. Last week we invited you to send in your jokes and riddles. Tonight we're going to be sharing a couple of them and you can help. There is a song called Sunnyside and we're going to sing it in between some of the jokes. It's pretty easy. I think you'll catch on if you just try singing along. Stay on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Stay on the sunny side of life. Yeehaw! You'll feel no pain as we tickle your brain if you stay on the sunny side of life. Who's got a joke? Wanna hear a joke about paper? Yes. Never mind. It's terrible. <laughs> Stay on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Stay on the sunny side of life. Yeehaw! You'll feel no pain as we tickle your brain if you stay on the sunny side of life. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting Boo. cow. Stay on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Stay on the sunny side of life. Yeehaw! You'll feel no pain as we tickle your brain if you stay on the sunny side of life. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lena. Lena who? Lean a little closer and I'll tell ya. <laughs> Stay on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Stay on the sunny side of life. Yeehaw! You'll feel no pain as we tickle your brain if you stay on the sunny side of life. Hi, I'm PK. I used to be chaplain for middle school week and help with the winter weekend. And uh, I want to tell you a story about the time that Jesus and Moses and an old man went golfing. And they've played nine holes and it's going great. They're all pretty close in score and they, they get to the ninth hole and there's this huge water hazard. And Jesus is up first and he shakes it out and he cranks back and he hits it and it goes and it goes and it goes almost across the lake and it drops and it sits on top of the water. And Jesus walks out on the water and he hits it and it lands a couple of feet from the hole. Moses gets up and you know Moses is old and so he's real stiff and he hits it and it goes about halfway across the lake and it drops in and it sinks. And he waves his golf club and parts the water and he walks down in and he hits the ball and it goes and it lands a couple inches from the hole. And the old man gets up and he's even older than Moses and he just cranks and he hits it and it goes over the lake and over the green and into the rough. And along comes a rabbit and he grabs the ball in its mouth and it starts to hop away from the green. And a hawk swoops down and grabs the rabbit and starts to fly away and a lightning bolt hits the hawk. The hawk drops the rabbit, the rabbit hits the green. The ball rolls around and around the hole and drops in, hole in one. And Jesus turns around and says, nice shot, Dad. Stay on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Stay on the sunny side of life. Yeehaw! You'll feel no pain as we tickle your brain if you stay on the sunny side of life. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul, in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul, in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. In my soul, I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. 
fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul, in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul, in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul, in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got love like an ocean in my soul, in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got love like an ocean in my soul, in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got love like an ocean in my soul, in my soul. So for tonight's virtual campfire, I'd like to read us a book. The book is going to go ahead and be The Storybook Night, which is by Helen and Thomas Dockerty. Leo was a gentle knight in thought and word and deed. While other knights liked fighting, Leo liked to read. He was kind to every creature. He wouldn't hurt a fly. When mom and dad said, knights must fight, he couldn't quite see why. One morning, Leo's parents said they'd like to have a chat. There was nothing wrong with reading, but he couldn't do just that. They'd seen an ad that morning in their favorite magazine, a dragon needed taming. Leo wasn't very keen. Nonsense, you'll enjoy it. I'll stop you getting bored. In case the dragon's scary, here's a brand new shield and sword. Leo packed some sandwiches and lots of books, of course. Then, with a sigh, he saddled up old Ned, his faithful horse. He hadn't traveled far, though the sun had risen high, when suddenly a fearsome creature swooped down from the sky. It had a lion's body, but it had an eagle's wings. A griffin, marveled Leo, who had read about such things. Come on, snarled the griffin. I dare you to fight. I'd rather not, said Leo. It wouldn't be quite right. I've got my brand new sword with me, so I'd bound to win it. But now, but how about a story with some pictures of you in it? Yes, please, the griffin nodded. He was really rather vain. So Leo read a book to him once, twice, and then again. It's yours to keep, said Leo, as he clambered back on Ned. Oh, thank you, cried the griffin, and bowed his noble head. Leo rode for hours through the heat was quite extreme. then stopped to have his picnic by a welcome mountain stream. Who dares to trespass on my bridge? inquired a hungry troll. It's only me, said Leo. Would you like to share my role? The troll just laughed. No thanks, he growled. I think I'll just eat you. But Leo said, my armor's pretty difficult to chew. I've got a brilliant book though. If y'all hang on just a minute, it's full of juicy goats and look, it's even got you in it. Hmm, that sounds good, the troll replied. His hunger put on hold, so Leo read the story with some changes, truth be told. It's yours to keep, said Leo, as he clambered back on Ned. Oh, thank you, cried the grateful troll and bowed his heavy head. Leo kept on riding through that long, hot afternoon. At last, he came upon a town as empty as the moon. 
The leaves were burnt on every tree, the grass and flowers too. He'd seen some messy streets before, but this was something new. Faces peered from windows, folks too scared to go outside. He trotted bravely onward. Hey, watch out, the people cried. When he saw around the corner, he set him shaking in his shoes, the most enormous dragon who'd just woken from a snooze. The dragon raised his eyebrows. Not another pesky knight. Don't worry, Leo told him. I haven't come to fight. I've got the most amazing book with loads of dragons in it. But it's going in the trash unless you clean up right this minute. Oh, don't do that, the dragon cried. I'll clean it up right away. But I'm really bad at tidying. Perhaps you'll show me how? So Leo taught the dragon how to shovel, scoop, and clear. And one by one, the townsfolk all began to lose their fear. Now, can I have my story? begged the dragon on his knees. So Leo read the book six times. A dragon's hard to please. It's yours to keep, said Leo, as he clambered back on Ned. Oh, thank you, cried the dragon, and he bowed his scaly head. When Leo reached his home at last, the cheers were long and proud. His parents hugged him very tight. Well done, you've made us proud. Now Leo is a hero, his parents have agreed. He doesn't have to fight at all. He's left in peace to read. The end. Hey campers, it is Sparkle and Zara and we have a repeat after me and do as I do song. In the beginning, God made the seas. In the beginning, God made the seas. And the forest filled with trees. And the forest filled with trees. He built the mountains up so high. Whoa! He built the mountains up so high. Whoa! And at the top, he placed the sky. And at the top, he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. Just to show how much he cares. In between, he had loads of fun. In between, he had loads of fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. Hip hip hippopotamus. 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 In the beginning, God made the seas. In the forest filled with trees, he built the mountains up so high. Whoa! At the top, he placed the sky. Gets fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. In between, he had loads of fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. I hope you all really enjoyed the book that Lone Star shared earlier. It was a story where Leo didn't want to fight, but instead he chose to use his words to share stories um, to make those he came in contact with feel good about themselves so that they didn't want to fight either. That story reminded me of scripture that we see in Ephesians 4 verse 29 and it says let no evil talk come out of your mouths but only what is useful for building up as there is need so that your words may give grace to those who hear it just reminds me that 
our words are so powerful. We don't need to fight with one another. We can choose words that build each other up, that encourage each other, that help the community instead of fighting. So I encourage you to think about the words that you say before you use them. When you get angry and want to fight, take a deep breath and think about Leo and think about things that you can say that would build others up instead of tearing them down. So we're gonna do a couple of songs. Uh, the first one is one that we all might go ahead and know, Gray Squirrel. And then the next one, some people might know it who have been to other camps or people who are really long time Camp Du Bois uh, associates, but uh, we'll go ahead and reveal that one later. So Gray Squirrel first, ready? All right. All right. Gray Squirrel, Gray Squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Gray Squirrel, Gray Squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Crinkle up your little nose, stick a nut between your toes. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. The next one is, what is it, Sound Kissed? Uh, we're going to sing the frog song, and it's one that we have been singing to Little One here for his whole life. Yeah. All right, you can start. Yeah. All right. Mm. Mm. Ack went, went the little green frog one day. Mm. Ack went the little green frog. Mm, ack went the little green frog one day, and his eyes went mm, ack too. Yay! Good job, everyone. Hi, everybody. It's Hoss. And Red. And we're going to lead you in one of our absolute favorite campfire songs. It's an old cowboy classic called Purple Lights. So I'll sing a line and you guys sing it back with red and just pay attention towards the end of each uh, verse. You guys get to sing a little prettier part. Purple lights, purple lights in the canyon. In the canyon, that's where I, that's where I long to be. Long to be with my three, with my three good companions. Good companions, my, my Bible, Bible, my pony, and, and me. Whipper wills, whipper wills in the meadow. In the meadow, sing a sweet, sing a sweet melody. Melody to my three, to my three good companions. Good companions, my, my Bible, my pony, and, and me. Gonna hang, gonna hang my sombrero, my sombrero on a limb, on a limb of a tree, of a tree by my three, by my three good companions, good companions, my, my Bible, my pony, and me. No more cows. No more cows. To be roping. To be roping. No more strays. No more strays. Running free. Running free. Just my three. Just my three. Good companions. Good companions. My, my Bible, Bible, my pony, and, and me. No more tears, no more tears to be crying, to be crying. All my fears, all my fears gone away, gone away. Cause my three, cause my three good companions, good companions are my Bible, my pony, and me. Thanks for joining us. And we hope you guys are making the best out of this weird summer that you can. And we can't wait to see you all back again at camp. Thank you for joining us this evening in our virtual campfire as we 
close our time together, I invite you to join me in a prayer. God of all creation, we thank you for places like Camp Du Bois where we can gather together, we can get to know one another, and we can hear your voice, your calling. We ask that you help us to remember how important our words are. Help us to choose our words wisely and make sure the things we say are things of kindness, things that build others up and bring hope for one another in our community. Amen. from the boys I only want to say that I'm so happy to keep in touch with you and to tell you that I'm safe here still in America and in North Carolina yeah uh, yeah I decided to send the song sanctuary for all of you I give you a big hug and I hope to see you in the future I miss you all and also of course I also miss my dear colleagues um, I, God bless you and see you soon hopefully <laughs>